friends today video is related to the evaporator cooling system so we will discuss in the detail what is the evaporator cooling system and how it is working and how to designing we will do the complete step by step it will be long presentation so i will divide this long presentation in the three videos so uh, we will see now the step by step all the items related to the evaporator cooling so we will discuss the total 10 items which is related to the evaporator cooling system which is include all the application maintenance and the designing and how to use it and how to the maintenance we will discuss all of this step by step so first we will discuss the human comfort what is the human comfort first, first we will define this one so what is the human comfort if you are satisfied with the surrounding area it will be humid comfort condition like dry bulb temperature as per ashley recommended 24 degree centigrade plus minus 1 degree centigrade and relative humidity 50 to 55 percent it is a human comfort condition when we are achieving this condition it will be comfortable area we will say this is the comfortable area that condition when we satisfied with our surrounding area so it will be comfortable area so we will discuss now comfort in more details human body emit heat 100 to 150 watts to maintain the body temperature like 98.6 fahrenheit if you are doing heavy activity your body emitting more heat to the surrounding if you are able to match your heat dissipation and surrounding heat in you will feel comfortable human body always try to achieve constant temperature actually comfort is not only the maintain the dry bulb temperature and relative humidity we need to deal different properties and how to deal these properties there is alternative option will also come in the next slides why comfort is more important because it's related to your productivity after research it comes out that 25 percent of women are getting slow down when it's hot 67 percent of people discussing are wasting time by talk or social media when it's not comfort 13 percent the people wasting the time to just to delay the projects because of no comfort conditions and 50 percent people they are wasting the time in the lunch area in the break time because of the no comfort condition in the production area that is why they are wasting their time in the lunch area when they are going to the lunch and they are spending more time is there so factor that influence the comfort condition is temperature temperature affect your comfort dry bulb and wet bulb relative humidity then air motion also air motion means velocity of air even you get temperature 24 degree centigrade but no air movement you cannot feel comfortable there should be a proper lux also then fresh air bringing more oxygen lack of fresh air disturbing the comfort condition also then personal activity also depend the comfort what type of the personal if it is a heavy activity or it is a normal activity it is also depend upon the comfort condition then the cloth what type of the clothing the people they are wearing noise also noise is also important if sound become noise continuously it will disturb the comfort level so we can control six factors related to our hvac system this we can control how we will control we will discuss in the next slides why pressure is more important for comfort comfortable conditions because if the fresh if as per you know the covid situation also came and in the covid situation the actually is recommended more and more fresh air so when there is a more fresh air so there is contaminate contaminants also less so indoor air quality also improve productivity will be improve and process efficiency will be also improve so with the more fresh air we can get the many benefits which is important for the health also no we will discuss there are two type of the building one is existing building and other is the new building 
first we will discuss how to improve the ventilation system in the existing building because of the corona also now ashray saying maintain temperature 24 to 30 degrees centigrade because of the corona condition because just to give the more fresh air so if we improve the ventilation we give the more fresh air so use fresh air to the maximum through treated fresh air and other fresh air air handling technology in case of central air conditioning building run system mostly 100 percent fresh air maintain temperature between 24 to 30 degrees centigrade try for humidity level between 40 to 70 for this is for the existing building for the new building we have to focus on the fresh air how we have to increase to make the more fresh air to bring the more oxygen and more comfortable so this is the comparison how we will do the existing building and how we will do the new building the how we will deal the fresh air how we can improve our comfortable conditions around our, our surrounding where is fresh air is applicable so fresh air is applicable in the manufacture assembly hall workshop panel room because panel room there is a too much heat so once through system is always better offices showroom and we will discuss all of this application in detail also how this applica applicable the fresh air then critical area like pharmaceutical warehouses where the which is not coming in the clean room so we can maintain in the warehouse the temperature also and the rh which is not critical in the warehouse process area in the factory then the if we will if we will see the conventional air conditioning so 10 percent fresh air we are giving normally the conventional air conditioning system so office building ahus hotels hospitals green buildings indirect so we will see now how our system which we, which is more focused system is indirect evapor evaporator cooling based solution how we can help to get these facilities all of this application by the fresh air so current need the current we need a fresh air because of the we need a more healthy environment inside the uh, room so how we can get this healthy environment by the fresh air by the filter system we can get the good environment so what what are the cooling technologies so we will see no cooling technologies first we will see the dry ventilation system the dry this is a very old technology and mostly used before in the egypt uh, no this technology what is this just in this technology just we are replacing the hot air from the production area to the fresh air ambient air inside so this is the old technology the other is the conventional evaporator cooler system mostly we are using the houses and the industrial area so this is the conventional system and this is the non-conventional indirect evaporator cooling system and this is the refrigeration system but we are conventional refrigeration system that we are using inside the building so we will see now uh, cool uh, cooling first we will discuss the direct evaporator system what is the advantages and disadvantages of the direct evaporator cooler system the direct evaporator cooler system it is a hundred percent fresh air the indoor quality will be good low energy consumption uh, but uh, it may do cooling in summer the, in the summer when the very hot temperature we cannot get the uh, less temperature and cooling especially in the monsoon the cooling will be not more because the more moisture high high moisture uh, problem of the filtration also because the dust is coming with the in the normal evaporator cooler and the benefits is low capital expenditure initial cost is low low maintenance environment friendly so air conditioning uh, conventional air conditioning uh, we the disadvantage 15 percent fresh air because the indoor air quality will be not good as compared to the evaporator cooler uh, energy consumption is more but uh, in summer the cooling is good moon scene also cooling is good air is also dehumidifier you can get the uh, relative humidity 50 to 55 percent filtration you can use many type of the filters so but uh, the high capital cost high maintenance and it is not environment friendly so there is a big gap between the evaporator cooler and the conventional air condition how we can fill this big gap by the indirect evaporator cooling we can fill this big gap so we will see the uh, what is the evaporator cooling first we will discuss the 
evaporator cooling, the conventional evaporator cooling, how it works. In direct method, warm air, moving air with direct contact with the water and it will be cold. And the water, what the refrigerant we are using, it is the water which is R718. The warm air is coming from here and this is the cellulose pads and this is the air washer and the hot air is passing from these pads and we are getting the cold air. But this cold air is the adding the more moisture and we cannot bring this temperature more below because of the uh, wet pellet temperature outside in the surrounding. This is the what this is the uh, direct evaporator how it it works. Air always have two portion sensible and latent heat. Sensible normal 60 to 65 percent in the air and the latent 30 to 35 percent this is ambient condition this is single stage air washer system what happened we just alternative the heat reducing the sensible heat and increasing the latent heat latent heat is just moisture in the air and sensible heat is the dry bulb temperature we are reducing so you will get the outlet temperature low temperature like 22 to 24 degree centigrade is near to the wet bulb temperature depending on the efficiency of the heat exchanger this is once through system we are not reducing enthalpy it's constant enthalpy process if you will not open your window latent heat increase and create suffocation and more moisture so this is this is this is one of the compartments sensible energy and the latent energy when it is passes from the cellulose parts pads and the air washer what is no sensible heat is going to is reduced now here and and the latent heat but which, which is the lower portion here it is not going to increase the total heat will be remain the same so it is a constant enthalpy process what is now indirect evaporator cooling system in indirect evaporator cooling system we are getting the hot air from here but we are using the cooling tower here cooling tower as you know the how the cooling tower is work cooling tower is just to cool the water and this cool water it is coming by pumping system this coil which is a this is a heat exchanger and this hot air is passing from this heat exchanger when the hot air is passing from this is heat exchanger there is no moisture add just to reduce we are reducing the sensible heat here only after this coil we have the conventional evaporator deck system the cellulose pads air is washer here the moisture is adding and we are getting the cold air with moist so this is the indirect evaporation, evaporation cooling system it can be two stage it can be three stage three stage like a hybrid system we will discuss all of this in detail in the next slides so why evaporator cooling our HVAC energy normally in the building we are the HVAC load is more normal is 35 percent which is a huge energy consumed in the building so load demand varies depend upon the summer and the moon soon it, the load is there is a variation in the load no the hvac when we are using the conventional air conditioning system so of course there is a direct impact of the odp ozone depletion potential uh, organic compound like chlorine fluorine carbon so this is the direct in the indirect uh, impact the total energy carbon emission and gwp global warming potential it is the right time to refine comfortable level that can open new alternative means of cooling so we can save our environment we can reduce the energy in the hvc system by the this new technology of indirect evaporator cooling system so selection of the evaporator cooling technology how we will select which environment which technology we will use if the environment is hot and dry location so recommend is the indirect evaporator cooler or direct evaporator cooler or indirect evaporator cooler if the environment hot and dry if the hot and humid then indirect evaporator cooler indirect indirect evaporator indirect evaporator cooler hybrid ac if the high humidity area you can use the indirect evaporator cooler or hybrid ac so how we do the selection of uh, the media how we will select indirect cooling you can choose either polymer 
हीट एक्सचेंजर आर द कूलिंग कॉयल हीट एक्सचेंजर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द हीट एक्सचेंजर एंड ओवरऑल आर पावर कंजम्पन इन द डायरेक्ट कूलिंग यू वी विल यूज ओनली द सेलुलोस पैड आर द स्प्रे बैंक वी कैन यूज इट इज इफ द सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट इज मोर डस्ट्री एंड हैज केमिकल सब्सटेंस यू कैन यूज फॉर द स्प्रे बैंक सिस्टम हाइब्रिड कूलिंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट इट कैन बी हंड्रेड परसेंट फ्रेशर इट कैन बी विद रिटर्न एयर विच विल डिस्कस इन द डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आर सो हाइब्रिड कूलिंग सो वट आर द पार्ट्स वट इज वी आर यूजिंग इन दवेपोरेटर कूलिंग सिस्टम द आउटसाइड बॉडी कैन बी मेटेलिक एंड द प्लास्टिक द मेटेलिक बॉडी कैन बी सिंगल स्किन और डबल स्किन फॉर द देर इज एलमिनियम प्रोफाइल बेस फ्रेम्स देर इज अ पम्प्स देर इज अ ट्रे दिस इज द इंटरनल पार्ट्स ऑफ द कूलर सिस्टम देर इज अ मोर इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट्स ऑल्सो फैन आर मोटर देर इज मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ द फैंस so these are the components so there is double inlet double width fans uh, electronically communicated fans uh, brushless direct current single inlet single, single width ec fan you can modulate the fan speed ec fan used where load fluctuation is more like data center it will give more energy saving same like the motor are also very important part is for regarding to the efficiency ie4 ie4 motor efficiency 95 to 96% now available in the market the i5 motor also there is the e plus motor also fans also available in the market which have the higher efficiency also so we can choose the high efficiency motor and high efficiency fans also so if you see the the ie3 motor normally the efficiency efficiency is 82 to 85% and ie4 from 92 to uh, 95% and the i5 uh, motor efficiency above 95% there is a new technology also so then we will come to the filters uh, for the residential purpose you can go for the, uh, 1 to 4 which can control the 10 microns for the industrial work and the commercial efficiency application we can use the 3 to 10 microns for the more superior residential better industrial environment and the better commercial we can go 1 to 3 microns then for the surgery hospital we can go for the 0.3 to 1 then for the clean room pharmaceutical area for the 0.3 microns we can use this filters which is a more advanced field filter uh now we will see before understanding the indirect evaporator cooling or direct evaporator cooling system we have to know very well the basic concepts of the psychometric which we will cover in the next slides